Dr. Daliwal, you had a presentation, Infectious Keratitis After Laser Vision Correction, How to Prevent and Treat. Can you tell us a little bit about your presentation, what the main points were? Absolutely. So in terms of infectious keratitis after LASIK, what's really important is that these cases are not your typical corneal ulcer. Because the infection is typically in the interface, when you see somebody who has an interface infiltrate, you have to lift the flap, get scrapings and culture, and treat according to kind of the timing of infection. Because what we know is acute infections are typically gram-positive organisms, meaning, you know, within seven to 10 days. The more delayed infections that occur, you know, after 10 days are typically atypical organisms, more, most commonly, atypical or non-tuberculous mycobacteria. So if it was, so you lift the flap, you do your scraping, and then you would irrigate that interface if it was early with something like vancomycin, and if it was later, you would use something like amikacin. Now, the other thing that's critically important is on post-op day one, you have to look carefully at the eye. What's very common is to see diffuse lamellar keratitis. Now that's inflammation that is not from an infectious etiology. So diffuse lamellar keratitis is just, you know, from lots of different things that are non-infectious that typically resolve when you give lots of topical steroids. So it has a very typical presentation though. When you have diffuse lamellar keratitis, the white cells are coming from the limbus and coming into the flap. When you have a flap-related infection, the cells are typically you know, right there in, inside the flap, okay? The other thing about diffuse lamellar keratitis is that the cells are diffuse. It's not a focal infiltrate. If there's a focal infiltrate, you kind of should presume that's infectious until proven otherwise. So diffuse lamellar keratitis does not begin as a focal infiltrate. Um, so you better, you know, it's better to be aggressive with those cases because the outcome is much better if you lift the flap early and treat. Sure. Now, if it's diffuse lamellar keratitis, treat aggressively with steroids and follow the patient closely because they follow a very kind of typical course where the cells are going to migrate toward the center and then just kind of disappear. And again, an infectious etiology would be different. The cells would you know, not disappear and, and the infiltrate typically gets worse. So that's the critical thing. I mean, first of all, prevention is the best. And we know with LASIK, it's not just the organisms that are around the lids. We have to remember that we have to be concerned about our environment as well, especially non-sterile water. So the, there have been outbreaks of atypical infections or non-tuberculous mycobacterial infections in cases where they had, you know, for example, the humidifier had contaminated water. So that was circulated in the environment and then landed in these LASIK flaps or, you know, there, was, there have been several of these in the literature. So you have to pay attention to the environment for prevention. Obviously you want to, you know, make sure that the, the periocular skin is, is prophylaxed accordingly. And, uh, and, and follow these patients carefully. So we know how now to culture and then treatment should be again, aggressive treatment based on the possible etiology and tailor that treatment after you get your microbiologic confirmation of the infection.